so you can read the problem i will explain the problem in the figure so we have a point here which is following this point here now this point is traveling horizontally with a constant velocity u and this point which is following this point is moving continuously with a velocity v now it's given that v is greater than u and we need to find at what time they will eventually catch up so initially the distance between them is l it is given and their velocities are perpendicular now it in between it will look something like this so this is still going on the same path and this is headed towards q and eventually they will both meet so this is the final position so we need to find the time taken for them to meet so let's say they meet in time t not so we are going to write our equations in two directions first is along the x direction and second we will write the equation about the line joining p and q so line joining both the points so this direction obviously will change but that does not matter we'll see in our equation so one equation in x and one one equation for the line joining both the particles so displacement in x direction so eventually you can see that the displacement for both the particles is same so both the particles in x direction have moved equal amount so for first one it is v cos theta into dt that is the small displacement in x direction so you can call it dx so v cos theta into dt so integral of that from 0 to t not will give the total x of this particle which is equal to total x of x of this particle and this is quite simply u dt integral 0 to t not or you could directly write it as u into t not so once again we are writing the displacement in x direction for both the particles so for this particle dx is v cos theta dt and for this particle dx is u dt so we are integrating the dx of both and so this becomes v cos theta dt integral 0 to t not because we are saying they meet at t not and this will be 0 to t not u dt so simplifying just taking the v out we just leave this equation to here and come back to our second equation which is for the displacement along line joining both points so let's say the gap between both the particles is r so dr by dt is the rate by which this r is increasing so if it is increasing we have to write the term of u cos theta minus v so dr by dt is equal to u cos theta minus v so this is the rate by which dr by dt uh this is the rate of increment of r in reality r is decreasing but that's fine the my negative sign has been taken taken care of because we are writing here the velocities that will increase the gap between them so u cos theta will increase the gap minus v because v is decreasing the gap so dr by dt is u cos theta minus v so we take dt there and then again integrate so this time limits of r so the gap between them initially it is l finally it is zero so limits are l to zero and here the limits of the time are zero to t not so we get our second equation l is equal to v t not minus u integral cos theta d theta now if you see equations 1 and 2 we have this term integral cos theta d theta which is common and with the limits 0 to t not so we are going to eliminate this and rest everything is given in the problem so we will get our t not in terms of the given variables so t not is vl by v square minus u square which is our answer so again we wrote two equations one in the direction of x we equated the displacements of both the particles in x direction and second we wrote the equation for this distance between the two particles 
that was initially l and eventually it was zero so we got a common term of cos theta d theta in both the equations so we eliminated that and got our answer